Hello everyone, welcome to another live stream from St. Chan's Esports. Today we have Detroit Catholic Central going up against Royal Oak High School. Catholic Central wastes no time in getting on the board. Greg is boss. Got some nice rebound action there. And put Catholic Central up early. One to nothing in this first match. Before we get uh, too much farther along, I have to, as always, thank our sponsors at CHMC Sports, which is Lawrence Tech and Hungry Howies. Interesting uh, side note, Lawrence Tech is starting up their varsity esports college team this fall, fall 21. So go ahead and check them out. You can recruit yourself uh, to be part of the their esports team. All right, looks like looks like Craig is buzz got uh, goal number two. Wow, Catholic Central is really racking up the points now. They are uh, they are a much much uh, more uh, advanced skilled team than Royal Oak. Uh, Royal Oak, we've uh, been streaming many of their matches so far in our tournament, and they are a uh, a rookie team, so they're still kind of learning and uh, trying to stay competitive, even though uh, a lot of the times that has not been the case. Uh, they've had many blowouts, uh, but let's see if they can uh, stay competitive here today. Great driving by Catholic Central. Great ball maneuvering. Royal Oak early on struggled with defense. So let's see if they can tighten things up a little bit here today and keep Catholic Central from running away with this. Royal Oak does have a few good uh, offensive members. Let's see if they can get Royal Oak on the on the board here. And just as a reminder, this is going to be three full matches today, not best out of three. We gotta get these games in. Looks like Royal Oak's doing a decent job of keeping the the ball out of their goal, playing some good D, which, as I said, was uh, was difficult for him early on. Uh oh, can D? Oh, almost gets a really nice rebound there. Misses just a little bit. Meta tense with a big goal, taking Catholic Central's lead to four nothing. Again, I think the the objective here for Royal Oak is not to win, but just to get some points on the board and keep Catholic Central to a minimum. Claw girl for Royal Oak has been successful in the first few weeks and uh, getting some points on the board for Royal Oak. Can she strike here again? Ooh, Catholic Central's in scoring position. But 
or a local Zelda, fend him off. Sorry folks, switching around my uh, camera there. Alright, with just under a minute left, can Royal Oak get on the board or will they be shut out? Looks like they almost scored on themselves. Twenty seconds left. Ooh, Catholic Central look like they were gonna knock one in at the final seconds there. Let's see if Royal Oak can clear it out. All right, I think this one's gonna end up four nothing Catholic Central. We'll see if Royal Oak can get on the board for the next match. Greg is boss, uh, did well that one, as well as Meta Tense. Let's see if Claw Girl or Great Striker from Royal Oak can get on the board. Sexy Grape uh, has also uh, been known to get some goals for Royal Oak there. Looks like game number two is almost ready. Here we go. Oh. Greg is boss. Coming out with an early goal for Catholic Central. Catholic Central looking like they were ready to score again. Looks like we got goal. Oh. Oh, what a great save by Royal Oak. I think that was great striker with the awesome defensive save. You too scored. Catholic Central goes up by two. I will give uh, Royal Oak credit. They've upped their defensive game since we've seen them in the uh, weeks one and two. Earlier this week, they played Rockford's team two. Uh, they did lose all three matches, but they had some great last minute goals in those games uh oh meta 10 scored all right it looks like each of the catholic central 
Member team members have scored goals in this second match. Royal Oak right now really needs to find some offense and get some goals. Let's see if any of their players can make something happen here. One of the things that we've noticed with Royal Oak and uh, seems to be true with a lot of beginners is just accuracy with moving the ball, dribbling, scoring, or shooting. They oftentimes have the right idea, just timing's a little bit off, or the angles are off. Meta tense with a second goal of the match. Great job by Catholic Central. Wow, look at that. Passes the ball to himself. Excellent, excellent play there. We are in week three of our State Champs Esports Rocket League tournament. This is our second annual tournament. Just looking at the rankings here for week two, which will probably be different in a couple of days. But uh, Catholic Central, no surprise there, is in the lead with 10 points. Well, they're tied for the lead with 10 points with Divine Child. So it looks like these Catholic schools are dominating our league right now. We'll see if anyone can compete with them. Our winner from last year, Dakota High School, they are trailing very close at eight points in third place or second, depending on how you look at it. All right, Rolo clears it out. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's Divine or Catholic Central who is circling back around to finish this one off. Nice. Uses the wall, gets the rebound, and knocks it in. Meditense is on fire this game. I believe that's his third goal of the game. All right, now following close behind Dakota is Rockford's team two at six points. Rockford's other team has five points and kind of rounding out our standings are Clausen with three which I believe is another rookie team and Royal Oak at zero with no wins as of yet meta tense yet again with the goal Catholic Central showing why they are the tied for the top team in our tournament. They're at this point they're just making it look easy. Pretty much scoring at will. As you can see, one minute remaining in our second match. Obviously, Divine or Catholic Central will win match number two. There's Meditense with, I believe, his fourth or fifth goal of the game. Squeaking one in at the last second there. We'll see if there's any hope for Royal Oak to get on the board their last match against you two scored whoa with eight points now when Royal Oak played Rockford team two earlier in the week they were able to uh, get some points on the board but 
Whoa, Claw Girl with seconds left on the clock. Squeaks one in. Nice move. Hits that corner. That's hard to defend, especially right off the faceoff like that. Great job, Claw Girl, for getting Royal Oak on the board here. Finally. Looks like there was another near goal for Royal Oak. Great defense by Catholic Central. And Metatens looks like he was lining that up for another goal. Looks like he's just burning down the clock at the moment. Let's see if they're going to try to squeak another one in. Oh, Craig is boss is moving the ball in. Can he get there before time runs out? Can Royal Oak defend this goal? Three, two, one. Oh, almost got a last second goal. Great job by Catholic Central once again. Okay, so real quick, let me just recap our rankings. We've got Catholic Central and Divine Child tied for first. Dakota in second place with eight points. Divine Child, Catholic Central both have ten. Dakota's followed by Rockford Team 2 with six points. Rockford Team 1 following them with five points. Clawson in second to last place with three points and Royal Oak at the bottom of the standings. All right, here we go. Our final match of the day between Royal Oak and Detroit Catholic Central Ooh, great striker comes in hot Right off that face-off. But of course, Catholic Central's there to defend. Good defense by Royal Oak. Claw girl and great striker were there to defend at that point. Oh, near miss. Now, clearly, Catholic Central has won this match. So, are they going to? lay off a little bit here for match three or will it be another onslaught of scoring from meta tense greg is boss and mu two i think is how you say it that three is really throwing me off there sorry Ooh, another near miss from Catholic Central. They've got a ton of shots on goal today. The score could have been much, much higher. Oh, and Meta Tens strikes first blood. If I was calling it right now, the player of the day would be meta tense just a ton a ton of goals and near misses just really moving that ball around great 
Good job of Royal Oak to clear the ball. Can they get in striking range? We are in week three of our tournament. We'll have one more regular season week. Oh my gosh. That was right in the goal. How did that not go in? Somebody was robbed. All right, Royal Oaks got the ball up front. Can they get it in? I don't know where they're at. There's Claw Girl. She had a chance, just missed her window of opportunity. Oh, there we go. Nice setup. Oh! Great striker just narrowly missed. How did that not go in? She was hitting, aiming for that corner and just missed. Just hit the rim there. Catholic Central with some. Great passing in front of the goal. And great striker. Gets Royal Oak on the board to tie it up. I think it was meta tense technically that knocked that one in, but great striker got the assist at least. All right, Royal Oak. Got that face off. Can they get it in? Ooh, almost. Great striker again with another near miss. All right, less than one minute. Royal Oak is technically still in this one. Can they pull off a last second upset? This would be uh, quite the shocker. Okay, looks like there we go. Meta tense, of course. Putting it away in the last minute to give Catholic Central the lead. Looks like this is done. Unless Royal Oak can come up with a shocker and get a goal here in the final moments to tie it up. I don't think Royal Oak has had an overtime match yet. They're coming in strong. They're getting some shots on goal. Can they do it? No. Oh, great striker just angled off just ever so slightly. Whoa, sexy grape for the first score of her of the day for her. She gets it in with three seconds to spare, tying it up and potentially pushing this match to overtime. Let's see who can get this game winner. Royal Oak showing some good D. All righty. If Royal Oak somehow manages to pull out a miracle win here, this will be their first victory of the tournament. They are right now 0 and 5 in total matches. Ooh. Good defense by Great Striker to clear the ball. Meta Tense is just amazing with his aerial maneuverings. 
very, very impressive. Catholic Central clears it. Looks like he's going in for the kill. Can Meditens finish this off? Ooh, just barely misses that. Doesn't get much closer. Nearly rebounded it to himself for the win. Royal Oak. They've got to really work their offensive skills here. Uh, that is definitely their weak point. They have had historically trouble getting on the board. Now let's be honest, their defense isn't all that great either, but They've oftentimes been shut out in matches. Ooh. Nice clear by Meditense. Looks like he's going in for the kill. Looks like he might have this. And U2 scores with two minutes, nine seconds on the clock. Getting the goals when they count. Might He might not have had the most, but got the important one. Great job, Catholic Central. Alrighty, Catholic Central sweeps Royal Oak three games to nothing. For everyone at State Champs Esports, this has been Denver. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch our weekly show that debuts every Friday afternoon on State Champs Net and, of course, all of our State Champs Esports social media. We're on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. And before I go, i got to thank our sponsors, Lawrence Tech and Hungry Howie's. We'll see you guys next time.